Gru the Wanderer is a barbarian warrior, invincible in battle, but with an IQ three points lower than a boulder. Wait, why am I on screen? Gru and his hilarious adventures come from the world of Gru comics by Sergio Aragones, and now Steve Jackson Games has issued the reprinted Gru the Game Second Edition, a super simple fast paced game that even someone like Gru could keep up with. Stop looking at me like that. The aim of the game is to build your town totaling seven victory points before any of the other players can. You can also hinder the other players by attacking the towns or sending Gru to help. Gru can help? No Gru, not yet. Oh. So, what's in the box? Let's take a look. Okay, in the box, you have your instruction manual. Who needs those? That's why you're watching this, right? Actually, no, I need these. <coughs> Six white raw materials dice, and one black Gru movement die that all fit into your Gru dice bag. Oh. You also have your deck of cards, and these are split into one black phase card, the one blue Gru card, yellow building cards, purple event cards, red Gru effect cards, green troop cards, and the rainbow wild cards. So now we have everything, but how do we play? Well, I'm joined here with Future J. Say hi, Future J. Hi, Future J. Just so you know, this is the same J just filming in the future, so I apologize in advance if I get any continuity issues. I'm, I'm just one guy. <laughs> Classic Future J. <laughs> Okay, okay, we need to get on with the game. Start off by choosing a dealer and place the blue Gru card at their spot. Deal out five cards each and place the rest of the deck in the center of the table in the draw pile. But if you get any effect cards in this initial hand, put them back in the draw deck and reshuffle it. If effect cards are drawn later, they get played immediately and affect the whole table. Discard phase. You can discard any, all, or none of your cards that you don't want into the discard pile next to the draw pile. Draw phase! Draw enough cards to fill your hand up to five cards. Attack phase! We'll put a pin in that one. Construction phase! Roll all seven dice to determine your raw materials on the white dice and Gru's movement on the black die. Gru will either immediately move one town left or right, two towns left or right, or stay still if you roll Roferto the dog, Gru's trusty companion. Oh, looks like you get Gru. Oh goody. You'll roll a combination of Copins, Supplies, Labor, and Gru heads on the white dice. This determines what can happen in the construction phase. You can spend these dice rolls to take actions. First up, spend any Gru heads that you want in order to play Gru effect cards that affect the town that he's currently stationed at. So if I play the, uh, you need help Gru card. Gru can help now. No, Gru, I really don't need you to- Oopsie. Then Gru destroys three buildings at his current location. You can now play building or troop cards by spending labor and supplies as demanded by each card. As you spend each die, set it aside, because in the mm, leftover phase, all the dice results that you didn't spend will be passed to the left until each player has a chance to spend them to play their own cards. So use as many of those dice on your turn as you can. Second draw phase. If you have fewer than five cards in your hand, then draw up to five again. Now the player on the left goes. Attack phase. Uh, again. Now, once you have some troops on the field, position them above your building cards. In the attack phase, you can now attack another town using one or more troop cards using the combined attack strength. If the other town has troops, they can commit them to defend using their defense strength. If the attack strength is greater than the defense strength, then the defending town loses buildings that equal the difference between the two scores in victory points. That was a lot, I know. So if an attack of four hits a defense of two, the defending town loses buildings that make up two victory points. If the defense is greater or equal to the attack strength, nothing is lost. Be careful how you attack and defend because some buildings and troops give bonuses. The turns then move on until someone builds a town totaling seven victory points. Points. Once you do, you are the winner! Congratulations! And that's how simple and fun this game is, so pick up a copy of Grew the Game 2nd Edition from Steve Jackson Games today. Anything left to say, Future J? Actually, yes, I'd love to take this opportunity to say- <laughs>